In this video, we will focus on how to change our accuracy setting number in the Auxiliary Data Parameters bar. Looking at the Auxiliary Data Parameters bar, there are multiple options, and we will focus on accuracy, which is denoted as ACC. In this case, we can see we have an accuracy setting number 1. The 1 is not a numerical value representing a range, it is a setting number that can be programmed under our Auxiliary Function menu. To change this in my auxiliary data bar, I simply press my A button, the number 8 key, with accuracy above the 8. It will open my accuracy input screen. From here, I can enter any of the 5 accuracy settings that I desire. 0 is in exact position. 1 through 4 are continuous motions. In this case, I will change it from 1, the setting it's currently at, to 2. I press Enter. And I will see now that my auxiliary data parameters bar has been changed to an accuracy setting of 2. This has not been applied to a line of code that will be covered in the videos following these. To view the accuracy setting values, choose the auxiliary function button and it will open our auxiliary menu. Choose auxiliary data settings. The second option is accuracy. When we choose accuracy, we will see the default values. Accuracy of zero is for positioning. This is an exact position. The robot will decelerate, coming to a complete stop within the range set for that point. In this case, one millimeter as we see. This indicates that the robot will decelerate, coming to a complete stop within one millimeter of that point, then accelerate and move towards the next position. Accuracy settings of one, two, three, and four have different values. All of these values are measured in millimeters. These are also global or indirect settings, which means if I change the accuracy setting number 4, I have affected every program, every line of code, that uses accuracy setting number 4. So once again, these are parameters that should be established before programming a process or a particular work cell begins. Once again, to change the accuracy in our auxiliary data parameters, I press the A plus the accuracy button, I type in the accuracy I wish to use, in this case setting number 4, and I press enter. And we can see the changes have been applied to the accuracy area of the auxiliary data parameters bar. We will apply these to steps or lines of code in videos that follow. 